welcome to the Arcad Saga. My name is Ilkja Wiersma, also known as EJ. And this is uh, the blooming update already for uh, October. We are almost uh, done with October for this year. So uh, that's for me a sign to make a uh, blooming update. So here we go. And I'm starting in uh, my Arcad room, as you can see. And I want to start with this Arcad because this is, well, at least to me personally, very, very special. I'm going to zoom in, not trying to make you dizzy, but look at this beauty. This is the first time I can say it out loud that I have a yellow Miltoniopsis in bloom. This is Miltoniopsis Ruslii a variety Exantina, and it's absolutely beautiful. I love, love that yellow and the shape of the bloom. And it also has a beautiful fragrance. It, I thought it would be more fruity, uh, but it, it's uh, fruity and sweet. Well, it's sweet, but it has also some, some spice to it. So there's some, uh, yes, spice elements in there. So not as fruity as I thought, but still, uh, still very pretty. But yeah, the blooms are absolutely a favorite. I think probably uh, the most favorite, if you ask me. For me, at least, as a grower. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah, it, it's just so beautiful. And all three of them, maybe you remember, I did buy three of them, are making spikes. And this particular one, with this four blooms currently, yeah, for uh, buds open, uh, it does make a two another spike. So I think in a coming uh, November update, we probably will have more of these beautiful yellow blooms. But yeah, that's the one I wanted to start with because if you follow me longer, you know that I wanted a yellow Miltoniopsis for so long. And here it is, it's beautiful. So that's it and that's done, you guys. Let's uh, continue. Well, down here we have this beautiful red odontoglossum type. Look at the amount of blooms on this one. And yeah, if I remember correctly, it was already in uh, the previous update. It had some buds on there, but those are opened up now as well. We have a last one over here. So it's almost in full bloom. And it looks beautiful. Two spikes here that may look at one, but they are a little bit tangled together tangled up and this is the odontoglossum red ruby i have it listed as the red ruby so that is this one absolutely beautiful also a uh, a big favorite i love this uh, red color as well then down here another beautiful yellow almost yellow variety this is my yellow nelly eiler absolutely beautiful I love my yellows. <laughs> Next to it, uh, that one is down blooming, but I still have blooms on my Swiss Beauty. Let's go over there, zoom in a little bit. There is a spike almost hiding, and it has also spikes going in that direction, as you can see, and we have more Swiss Beauties over here, but also a, a red velvet right next to it. So you can see the difference between the two very nicely, but you can see obviously the shape and the markings are very similar. But the red velvet is absolutely a more velvet, velvety color. And over here I have another spike on that red velvety. This is lying in there, in the <laughs> lying on the window shield, but uh, because it's it's getting uh, it's, it was getting quite big and heavy, but uh, nonetheless it's beautiful. And then let's cut over here. Oops, I am tangled with my mic. But here we are. This is also a very beautiful one. Let me try it like this. So the blooms are still facing the, the window because we have a spike here, as you can see, that is not open yet. So I wait until it's fully open and then I will turn it around. But this one is also very beautiful and the plant itself looks very beautiful as well. This is it. It's a nice bushy plant. And let me quickly uh, show you the name tags. And there we go. For the ones who want to know the name. And uh, try to get it in. There we go. Then over here we have still that beautiful red no ID odontoglossum type in bloom. But you can see the color is starting to fade. 
so yeah, this one is going over and there that one is almost completely done blooming this is its second dairy spike and you can see the colors are a little bit better on this one then next to that one we have this beauty I really love these sh star shaped blooms fairly uh, big if you compare it to my uh, my hand let's put it like this there we go this is a better view you can see so it has quite a nice size to it and oops there it goes oh it stopped heavy I tried to get the name tag out oh it wouldn't be the first time it did fall over earlier a few weeks back well actually a week or two something like that but this is the name for it because it's very top heavy and uh, yeah so it's leaning a little bit to this side so I need to be careful not touching it too much then this purple one this is all almost going over as you can see this beautiful anish type fragrance to it this is the name it's a very long name but there you go if you want to look it up and then here yes that beautiful bright yellow a dancing lady type is starting to open up her blooms and it's a nice contrast with that purple I think and down here I have an odontoglossum type from the Incas and this is this one I did get for my birthday I did I have another one you will see in a minute that one that came from Inse Inse Schaap and so both of them are blooming and then here this is the one we have on a self-watering mound that Oncidium I was talking about and this is why I try to grow it because the blooms are beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah maybe you saw my update on the cell watering it doesn't do so well but this one at least we have a one spike and we can see the blooms but yeah they are so beautiful so maybe I can find another way to grow it better anyhow we have also some Paphiopelum blooms. This is the uh, blackjack. Fairly nice large bloom. And then this one. This is also a beauty. Let me uh, put my hands behind it. Look at that. What a beautiful bloom. And I have this uh, listed as this one. Paphiopelum white lady. But it's probably one of the parents. It does look very similar. But it is a cross with this one. So I'm not completely 100% uh, sure on the name, but what I do know is that it's beautiful and fairly large. Absolutely beautiful. So that is this corner, I believe. Did I miss something? No, I don't think so. So let's get over here. This is the one that I did get from Inse. And this is the same type. Insidium odontoglossum type very beautiful and I think one day I might put them together they look both of them very healthy so and this is uh, both of them are gifts so uh, I don't want to lose them and thereby I thought well I can put them together that may be uh, maybe nice over here I have my French town I still have it as a other glossum it's now reclassified if I'm correct but anyhow if you look at uh, up the other glossum French town, you probably will find it. Beautiful colors, if you ask me. I really enjoy the brown and the orange colors on these blooms. Two beautiful spikes. And then behind it, we have this Miltoniopsis. This spike, these blooms are going over, as you can see, but this is fairly new. Look at that. And also a fairly large bloom on it absolutely stunning and he, of course I did put the name way back but here it is this is it absolutely stunning blooms there we go and then up here I have another one in bloom look at this I 
I love them, as you probably know by now, but it's, these blooms are so beautiful. And again, fairly large, both of them, beautiful, nice, large blooms. And this is the name tag for this one. So there we go. I'm putting it over there, then over here. My Sotowanum. Oncidium Sotowanum. <laughs> There's some type of spider who enjoys the, this plant very well. I don't mind. Can catch flies and etc. But look at this. Beautiful. Very nice pink color. Beautiful fragrance on this one as well. So this is a fairly fresh spike. That's a bit older spike. And we have another older spike over there. And uh, yeah, I see another one here. So we have some blooms, blooms to come. Uh, my magnum is done blooming. <laughs> Yeah, but down here, something is just starting. This is absolutely one of my favorites. It's a Zygo, a Zygo hybrid. But look, it's almost white, at least the lip. That's a bit creamy as you can see uh, with that purple. It, it's absolutely beautiful. Very, uh, there's a beautiful sh sheen on it as well. I'm not sure if the camera does pick it up, but absolutely beautiful. Do I have a name for it? Well, I have a, the crush for it, the parents. Oops, I'm sorry. So if you are interested in this one, you should look at those, that combination up. Not sure. I did get it from a nursery that is not in business anymore from Belgium. So I'm not sure if this was their own crush or not, but it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, here we have a bit of close up. Of the Nelly Eiler, <laughs> at least on that spike. Then and more Nelly Eilers here, but behind that we have this beauty. Uh, I will show it in my other video better because it's still working on some buds and another spike. So if I turn it around, the blooms will uh, be upside down and in all kinds of directions, which it already does a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. there it is but you can see there that's another spike and i still have butts on this one so that's why i keep it like this when it's in full bloom i turn it around then over here this one is also very pretty let me try to focus look at this the contrast and the shape of those spots on here and on the petals and sepals absolutely beautiful it is called black tiger something black tiger here we go oh don't know black tiger star that's the name yes and i think one of the that uh, german nurseries does carry this uh, currently or the last time i checked so if you are interested in it this is on sale it is beautiful absolutely beautiful let me quickly check. Yeah, we did uh, get all of these over here, I believe. So let's get over into the greenhouse. Now currently the fan is running. So I hope it's not distracting too much. Look at this. Di Alai Caste. A beautiful white one that I did find over at one of the open houses at uh, Landsbergen. Absolutely beautiful. And I finally did manage to bloom it again with beautiful fresh green leaves. So that took a while because I did discuss it in an earlier video, but I did overwater it. I started to water it too early. Not overwater it, I started just watering it too early. And look at this, my first Cadacetum type of Cenotus. Let me check, it's windy light. Is that a Cenotus? I believe it is. Uh, yeah, it's a Cenotus Windy Light gem. That is this one. Beaut this, this red color is amazing. So I love my yellows and this red. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> beautiful fragrance. Beautiful fragrance. And my flat Fred, <laughs> Fred Clark is on the way with two spikes but not open yet. So we have a Bellina up here, which is still filming. Also very pretty. And down here I have this fell. 
almost fluorescence, these colors. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Looking for beautiful blooms. <laughs> Here's my uh, one of my epidendrums. And no ID, but beautiful. Very nice white and pink colors in there. And I have this red one over here, the red dragon. Not sure if the camera gets that color very well, but I hope so. I hope so. Whoops. Bumping into one. Well, there's then a pink one is done blooming. This one is also done blooming. I have a sort of bloom still here, but yeah, this, we can class this this as done blooming. I uh, I guess <laughs> a Cattleya bloom here. Oops, there it is. Beautiful yellow one. Sadly, this one had th thrips, so I had to spray it. So it lost, uh, I think, about two buds over here. But this one uh, did make it, luckily. So we can enjoy it a little bit. But yeah. And down here, Wilbert uh, Cheng. Still blooming by Boba Phylum. Let me see if I can get this in a frame without breaking the spike. Yeah, kinda. <laughs> there we go. The rest is has butts on, so it's not uh, the blooms are not open. But this is the Wilbur chain. And yes, it has a uh, not so pleasant smell to it. <laughs> One bloom here on my green hornet. Whoops, that's a very old leaf. There we go. There it is. Then over here, yes, I have this Cattleya in bloom. Let me try to get the leaves out of the way. And maybe you can see it, the one above there is also markings of um, thrips, sadly. And it's hard, well, actually, I see a few over there as well. Those lighter, patchy colors. Most of the time, it is an indication for thrips. But it's a bit hard to spray these days because it's very cold. But yeah, I hope we can still enjoy a little bit of the bloom. But yeah, I know it doesn't look as good as it should. But yeah, it happens. Nonetheless, I think they're beautiful. It's one of my oldest Cattleyas that I have. Absolutely beautiful. Over here, well, I'm just turning off the fan because it's a little bit annoying. There we go. This one is still in bloom. Look at that. A beautiful happy sap there, as you can see. <laughs> Always looks nice. This is a cross with the Why Not. Beautiful. Very delicate blooms. Not that big. And then look at this beauty. Three blooms. The best blooming so far on this one. Binosa, I believe. Yes, it's the Brasso Cattleya Binosa. Look at that. Oh, this is absolutely one of my favorites in this category. <laughs> Look at these spots on there. Let me try to zoom in a bit better. I'm holding my hand against the shelf above it. So I hope to keep in focus, but you can see now the details on that lip and the colors. With that lime green background, it's stunning, absolutely stunning. And then, yes, look at that. We have three of those beauties. Absolutely beautiful. Just, I think it's the second day that they are blooming. So fairly fresh. And then down here, I have my yellow birds. And I'm done. This is the newest spike. As you can see, this one is still opening up. Then it does show up a little bit more with a pink color, orange, and then it starts to become more yellow. And in the back it has these two spikes. This one is going over, but we have also a fairly large spike over there. Maybe we can show it better from the other side if we are there. While I'm checking, if I miss something, well, of course, <laughs> this is not a miss, miss at all. I recently did a care video about it. I will uh, link it in this video if you are interested. But oh, oi, oi. Look at all these teeny tiny faces smiling at us. <laughs> And again, I need to mention this. 
these colors, that green and those beautiful orange blooms go so well together. And look at that. I like these little clusters further up on the cane. So beautiful, like I said. Just like teeny tiny faces, just keep keeping an eye on us. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And this is also quite, quite funny, because this is the keiki. One of the keikis, and they decided to uh, also bloom. Well, I think I did receive some instructions of the uh, big mother plant, but anyhow, it's still beautiful. And this is uh, an orchid that I did get from Inse as well. This is the Celebensis. Not opening yet, but I just want to show the spike. It's a beautiful, very promising spike, if you ask me. So a few blooms left. It's we are getting a new spike, so uh, a new season will start, but we'll have here and there some blooms still uh, left from previous spikes. Some branches here and there. This beauty, just starting to open up a new branch of flowers. Beautiful. And then this white one, it's sadly <laughs> stuck to the very nasty looking uh, sticky uh, pad for the box. I, I, I should remove it. I know this is not good. This is not good. Okay, I will do my homework. I apologize, you guys. I apologize. And it's just still hanging there. I don't use it. So these bugs are not even from this year, but previous years. So yeah, I'm sorry. I should have cleaned that up by now. So here is another. So yes, I'm back, you guys. My battery died. Uh, but I uh, knew that we were talking and uh, looking at this beautiful fell, and I was a little bit distracted by this one uh, of the yellow leaves. These are all the leaves, so that there's not a big problem. It's working on a spike, but uh, it did remind me of a video I'm working on. I'm talking about. Uh, I will talk about uh, yellow leaves on fells in this video. It's not the main subject, but I did get some questions about uh, trouble uh, shooting uh, plants. So I uh, thought I'm going to make a video on that, how uh, my approach is on when I see something is off of my uh, with my orchids. So that's a bit of a spoiler alert. <laughs> it will be uh, on uh, my channel next somewhere, next week or two, something like that. Still working on it. Anyhow, let's focus on these beautiful uh, flowers again. This is my Dendrobium fenliopsis uh, Blue happiness, yes, it's a commercial name, but that's uh, that is this one. So yeah, it's it's purple, but it's it's almost blue. <laughs> so yeah, but uh, nonetheless beautiful. And this is the black Thailand next to it. And it has several blues. We have even a spike here on the way, another spike here, and here we have twins. It's kind of funny. These are coming from the same stem. Uh, spot, not the same stem, but the stem is connected. So it's it looks like two, but they are stuck somehow. Anyhow, <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful color. And then I have a white variety over here. Still working on some buds, as we can see. And then I have a den fell over here. This is also very pretty. It starts very yellow when it's once it opens up, as you can see on this one, and then slowly but surely it does get more white in it, or a lighter creamy color, as you can see. And let me quickly check. Yes, this is the. I wanted to show you the name. Here it is. Dragon Jade number one. Let me put the tag back, so that is, whoops, there it's falling, but I will uh, put it in later, but that, that is this one. And then right in that corner, it's the purple happiness, which is also working on this spike and this one. And this one is currently open, as we can see. So yeah, the back drop is a little bit on a lighter side, so my camera has a bit difficulty to show the beautiful purple color. Nonetheless, it has quite some blooms on it. And then we have this no ID in bloom. Several spikes. Some still, some still to come. There we have even more. 
quite some looms on this one. They are beautiful. I really enjoy the colors of these. And then my chocolate banana, banana <laughs> over here. Also blooming very beautiful. This is a very fresh spike. And then we have here another one. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. So yeah, those are in this corner. Looking very pretty, if you ask me. Over here. Then I have this spring eclipse. A nice pink one. Which had still some aphids on there. So if you see those little black spots, those are dead aphids. So I, did, I needed to spray it. Here's another spike. Look at it. Fairly large. But this is also my biggest dendrobium phenoliopsis. And I'm stuck in, in a spike. <laughs> but you can see the fairly large canes. This one is going over almost, but this is fairly fresh. It's the Nora Takanada over here. Then I have this a bit deeper pink purplish one. Also very beautiful. No name for it, sadly. And a yellow one, but we will have a close up uh, later on because down here. And again, I should do something about my Mike, <laughs> it's getting stuck again. I apologize. But yeah, look at this teeny tiny little one. It has beautiful blooms on it. Very nice spikes. I shouldn't have lifted now because now everything is moving. <laughs> and I cannot get it in focus. Let me try to do it like this. And I'm going to zoom in so hopefully you can see a little bit more details. Which is challenging. Oh, I try to keep still, you guys, but it's very difficult. But yeah, this is the bloom. Yeah, I need to zoom out. I'm sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, but... And you can see it has quite some blooms, quite some spikes, and even some buds to come here. This is the uh, ambu ambuensis. Nendrobium ambuensis. That is that one. And down here, you just saw it already a little bit in the background, but this is my hibiki. We have quite some blooms in there in the middle as well. Let me try to zoom in on this one as well. Let's see how we can do. Yeah, it's a bit better, I believe. But then again, these blooms are a little bit larger than the ambience we just saw. Let me uh, put that one back where it seems to be fairly happy. Over here, it's a bit of a cooler grower, so that's why I keep it here. Then I have my Victoria Regina over here. It has, whoops, don't break the butts. And a few blooms open. Look at that. Beautiful. So that is this one over here. Now, um, let me see how I'm going to do this. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. I'm not trying to make you dizzy again. But here she is. Oh, I'm so proud of this one. It's such a beast of an orchid. And so beautiful. With these beautiful purple flowers. I really love them. And yeah, the plant is looking so great. It's so beautiful when you get these specimen sized plants and then they start out to push out the flower spikes. As you can see, they are so tall and long. Top heavy because of the blooms, but it's still on there. And I'm leaving it. It should be able to uh, maintain the spikes on its own. And it's doing it, but yeah, with those blooms on it, it does get quite heavy, but I, I really like the look of it when it's arching over like this. And you can see that this one is starting to lean over as well. It has one, uh, one bloom open. And as soon as these start to open, it will uh, go downhill. <laughs> no, not downhill, <laughs> moving downwards, I should say. I'm not going downhill, please. You are doing so well. So don't listen to me too much. <laughs> but anyhow, beautiful, beautiful. And then I promise to come back with to this yellow uh, dendrobium over here. And here we are. Also a very pretty one. 
This is Dendrobium Puff 58. It's a bit of a strange name. Fragrance is also in the name, I believe. But yeah, it's not less it's beautiful. I really like that white and yellow, yellowish color. It's a bit of green, creamy color. Goes very well together, if you ask me. Then, see, so it's a little bit difficult to move around with this uh, beast, in a way. <laughs> Then up here, ah, we have, I did forget to put this one in frame, uh, I'm sorry, I need to find a better way to get these, because the, yeah, there we go, I think this is better. This is the Anna Green Splash, beautiful green and purple colors, as you can see, so that is beautiful, and then I had this, and then drum over here, and that is Oriental Red. I'm sorry, it's just so close to the light, and I see some uh, aphids on there. Yeah, we have not that cold weather, so I still have the aphids coming in. Then we have this beauty. This is this one had Fusarium, so I did cut off the bulbs, and it's coming back. So the flowers are not not as big as it should be, but yeah, it's trying, and unless it's beautiful, this is almost done blooming the Billabong Alba and it's the it snap there and then we have this one look at that this is the Shilap Tolkien really pretty and I have this no ID next to it but you can see in the back there it has several spikes let me try to uh, get one at least a little bit better in shot so you can see the colors and the pattern on there. Yeah, very beautiful one. And it really likes to bloom. And then this one with this beautiful three spikes. So look at that. I just recently could turn it around because now the buds are all open, fully opened. Green parrot is this one called. Absolutely beautiful yellow greenish colors on there i really really enjoy it and especially when you have three of these beautiful spikes opening at once next to it we have this uh, Firona opening and it has two spikes currently and number three is over there <laughs> number four is just done blooming that is this one but yeah also a beautiful variety Let's have a look. Um, there we go. Then here, this is a new spike, but this one just opened up. So again, blooms on this one. This is the Orange Delight. I never had so many blooms on this one. I don't know if you remember it, but it's pretty often in my videos for the last couple of months because it's it, eight, nine, maybe ten spikes. I'm not sure, but. Just keep throwing them out, which we don't mind, because uh, this is probably my favorite, because of the yellow, orange, yellow colors. I love them all, don't get me wrong, but this one is, is very pretty, if you ask me. Then down here we have this one, let's put this one in frame. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. And this is the name for it. A cross. Trying to get the tag back in. There we go. And then here, this beautiful Miltonia, still in bloom. I love this one. Angela Barker. This one is sadly not doing so well, but it is still blooming. So I hope I can uh, recover this one. Some may say, yeah, you need to cut off the blooms. Well, <laughs> it's almost done blooming, so I didn't uh, cut the blooms. And it did, does make new uh, roots, and I have some Cintiq under there, underneath there now. So I hope to get those roots back in the pot. But yeah, it's sadly not doing so well. But the blooms, the colors are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And let me see. Osteria alba. 
If you want to name completely, please let me know. I'm happy here to give it to you. No problem. And then here, yes, it still has some pretty blooms here. And this is the country garden. Botonia something country garden. <laughs> Beautiful. Then this hybrid over here. Uh, still, this bloom is going over, but this is kind of okay. <laughs> and there is the name. Let me let's say cross. Bloom TI cross with Moliana. My Peter Kamp. Look at that. Several spikes. And it gives such a beautiful display. Very, very strong fragrance. It's a bit sweeter than before. And before last year, it reminded me of a uh, burning wood. So then sometimes I did came, uh, came in the greenhouse and I was like, oh my God, what is burning here? <laughs> and then I discovered it was this plant. So it's a bit of a strange, but it's a strange fragrance, but it is now it's a bit more sh sweeter. It's a bit better. <laughs> but look at these blooms. Doesn't it look beautiful? Stunning, I believe. Next to it, well, this is almost over. There always comes a time when I stop blooming, <laughs> don't they? And this is, I think it's this one, Sandy Scove. And then I have here a Miltonia Sunset. It's a division of the spotted one. So here you can see down, whoops, underneath there a spot. It doesn't have much this time around. But normally this one does get some spots on the yellow parts of the bloom. Then up here I have this purple one. I have no name for it, but it's also very beautiful. And it has quite some blooms, as you can see, some spikes. And some are already going over. Well, already it's been in bloom for quite a while. <laughs> and then here, look at this. Still some fresh blooms on there. This is the Miltonia Clobesii. And then in the back I have this one. It's probably a cross with the sunset, the beautiful. This one contains <laughs> all the three colors that I love in blooms. White, dark red and yellow. Yeah, very, very happy with this one. And then this, I think it's a Ragnelli cross or something. I'm not completely sure, but this Miltonia that is that very large one. It has still has a few blooms left. Most of them are done blooming now. But, uh, still these are looking very pretty, I believe. So I will now slowly turn around and have a quick look. Because so far in every video I s keep forgetting at least something. <laughs> uh, I think I'm there. Yeah, my cymbidiums are starting to spike. At least two of them. And yeah, I think I did a good job this time. Not forgetting anything. So yeah, you guys, so that's, uh, that's my uh, update. I didn't, whoops, I'm knocking something over. <laughs> didn't show this up close. It's freshly nice bloom. It's a uh, Sogo Relax. So we end with this one. Thank you so much. If you like, uh, please give this video a like and uh, maybe you want to share it subscribe to the channel would be awesome as well if you didn't already have and of course thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos bye bye <laughs>